President Jonathan Nez, welcome to New Mexico in Focus. Hello, Antonia. Thank you for having us on the show. And uh, President Nez, we know COVID-19 has hit the Navajo Nation hard. There are states across the country loosening up their restrictions, including New Mexico, ending its indoor mask mandate. What's the tribe's response? Well, it's unfortunate that, um, you know, this country is uh, starting to remove some of their COVID-19 restrictions. Uh, we're not out of the pandemic yet, as you know, Antonio. Uh, I hear other variants are popping up on the other side of the world, and we just want to stay cautious. You know, for the Navajo Nation, we've never taken our mask mandate away. We've had it in place since the onset, uh, April of 2020. And even though we've heard uh, jurisdictions around us and, um, you know, even the CDC saying you don't have to wear a mask. And then later on, they say, well, put the mask back on. On the Navajo Nation, we never wavered. We continue to uh, uh, keep our mask mandate in place. Uh, we want to you know, keep our citizens um, uh, safe throughout this pandemic. And, uh, you know, we've gotten some positive comments uh, because keeping our uh, mask mandate in place from our Navajo citizens, you know, it, it, it's about uh, protecting our families or protecting our community and protecting our uh, Navajo nation. You know, it's not about uh, you know, restricting anybody's freedom by forcing people to wear masks. I mean, we, we just uh, went through a tough surge uh, last year and many surges uh, since then. And we feel like these protocols have kept us safe. And this last surge that started a month ago, uh, this should be a testament to what the Navajo people have done is to get 75% of their people fully vaccinated and keeping some of these protocols have helped uh, keep uh, COVID-19 from hurting our people. You know, with this last surge, yes, there were some breakthrough cases, but because of a high uh, vaccinated population, uh, we didn't see many people uh, in the hospitals. We did see unvaccinated people ending up in the emergency rooms compared to off the Navajo Nation where we saw uh, a skyrocketing numbers of people ending up in the emergency rooms and ending up being admitted in the hospital. So I hope people see that, you know, if these protocols are taken seriously, just imagine how better off we would be throughout the uh, United States if we were just to have done this uh, during the, the first uh, year, year and a half of this pandemic. And speaking about off-reservation, the tribe's message, your message to reservation residents when they're traveling, um, what is your message to the public to continue to wear masks in public? And yourself as a tribal leader, when you're out there doing your official tribal business, um, what kind of example are you setting? Well, I was just mentioning earlier that the Arizona State basketball tournaments were happening here in Arizona you know, large gatherings, uh, there's no restrictions uh, off the Navajo Nation, but we went there and it was encouraging, really inspiring to see our Navajo citizens wearing their masks, watching the games. And what was even more inspiring was to see the student athletes, you know, they didn't have to wear masks on the court, but they chose to wear a mask and they were a role model uh, to the rest of the state of Arizona that they are serious about pushing back on COVID-19. And with the uh, mask mandate in place here on Navajo, we tell our visitors, you got to wear a mask. We're a sovereign nation. We have the ability to govern ourselves. And this is our decision. Please, uh, you know, honor that. And if not, then, uh, uh, you know, what can we say? You know, maybe come back later on. But right now, uh, a mask mandate is in place, and we just ask for uh, our visitors to respect that. And speaking of tribal sovereignty as a tribal government making your own rules and regulations, has there been any, any consultation about uh, loosening restrictions from whether it's the state of New Mexico, Arizona, or Utah? Has the 
governor's offices of any of the states or any cities um, consulted with the Navajo Nation? Not one. <clears throat> They're making their own decisions. As uh, you stated, New Mexico took their mask mandate away. Um, I did speak to uh, a city councilor out of Flagstaff, Arizona. He's wanting to encourage his city council to keep the mask mandate on. Uh, it wasn't a travel consultation. It was a actually a quick visit at the basketball game, but I think people see the uh, great job the Navajo people have done, you know? And again, Dr. Fauci has said, you know, it, Navajo Nation is a case study, uh, a model. Uh, if we are to follow these protocols, you know, we could really get back to some normal, but uh, until then, uh, we'll see what happens, but the Navajo Nation continues to take the pandemic uh, seriously, especially our elders, right? Our elders, a uh, large percentage, over uh, 80% uh, are fully vaccinated. That just tells you that our elderly uh, population are taking this, uh, this COVID-19 uh, public health emergency seriously. And is there, I know there's no magic crystal ball to see the future, but are there some numbers or some you know, some data or something that would make the Navajo Nation loosen restrictions, including a mask mandate? Well, of course, uh, every day I get updates from our public health professionals. I do have periodic meetings with our Navajo Nation COVID-19 um, team. Uh, that includes uh, some of the doctors, the healthcare professionals uh, that give us guidance. Um, and so when we see the numbers decrease uh, all around us and the high vaccination percentage all around us, then uh, and I think uh, we will be lifting some of these uh, restrictions. But until then, we're doing it in incremental steps. I think the next, uh, the next move, if we see these uh, numbers very low, will be going from 50% to 75% in reopening our businesses. So that is something that is coming up. And then also opening possibly our, um, our gyms, uh, our wellness centers to the public. And um, we're gonna continue to uh, uh, look to our uh, doctors and public health professionals here on the Navajo Nation for guidance. And your Navajo Nation vaccination events, testing events have seemed to slow down a little bit. What's now the focus for the tribe and healthcare workers? Well, the, the continuation of getting people vaccinated, of course, we're almost in that time period of the six months. So every six months you get a, get a shot to fight COVID-19 or to protect yourself from COVID-19. The third shot, you know, I think we're almost at the six months. <clears throat> so there, there'll be uh, a fourth shot, I'm sure. And then we'll be out there uh, promoting that. Uh, right now, the Navajo people have received, um, much of them have received their boosters. Uh, the Navajo Nation employees, over 80% of our Navajo Nation employees are boosted. And uh, it is a mandate for Navajo Nation employees to get the third shot. I don't think any other uh, jurisdiction and any other government has done that, even the federal government, mandating that they get uh, their employees the, uh, the third shot. So that's something we're leading the way on here on the Navajo Nation. And we just want to keep our employees safe, but not to shut down government. We're gonna continue to provide services to our Navajo people and, and keep everybody safe. And what's the top recovery right now at the moment for recovering from COVID-19? What's your focus right now? Well, right now we're looking at um, reopening uh, the hospitals for those non-COVID-19 procedures. Some of those were uh, put on hold because our focus and our attention were on COVID-19 uh, uh, related health issues. So there are some uh, of our Navajo people that are, uh, we're waiting on some operations or some procedures, non-COVID-19 related. So we're gonna be 
focusing on, on that with the hospitals. Uh, we're handing out masks. We got many uh, uh, masks, uh, the KN95 masks that we're handing out in public. You know what? It's a good timing too. You know, even at these basketball games here on the Navajo Nation, we're still uh, capped at these basketball events at 25 percent. But uh, people do come out. We're handing out masks there in, in large quantities so that they can stock up as well. And, and I think uh, we all know. I know that masks utilizing utilizing masks will uh, slow down the spread of COVID-19 and. Uh, we can continue to uh, provide hygiene kits, cleaning supplies as we transition to the spring because it'll get a little warmer. And uh, we're hoping that uh, we keep the, the other sur surges uh, from coming and hitting us hard once again here on the Navajo Nation. Well, I know you have a busy schedule ahead of you for today and the rest of the week, but real quick, um, if you have any thoughts on President Biden's State of the Union address last night, what are you looking for for the Navajo people? Well, he did mention Indian country uh, in his speech. That was encouraging. Uh, we, I thought he did an excellent job on the delivery of his uh, address. Uh, very inspiring towards the end there. I know the attention is on Ukraine, uh, what's happening there. Uh, Navajo Nation uh, is uh, standing with the citizens of Ukraine uh, as well. We, we took a position there to make sure that, um, you know, we pray for our brothers and sisters there in uh, Ukraine and, uh, you know, protecting uh, their sovereign ability to govern. and. You know, that's what we do as uh, tribal governments as well. And we're even looking into our investments. Are, are there any investments uh, uh, from the Russian government or anything Russian so that we can reevaluate some of our relations with, uh, uh, with Russia, the government and Putin? So I think uh, other tribes are going to be doing that. I know states are uh, not purchasing uh, Russian goods, uh, even boycotting some of those. Uh, I think we also need to look at uh, the bigger picture, uh, the investments, international investments, you know, reevaluating our portfolio. And right now I'm just uh, getting a rundown on anything associated with the Russian government. And we got to cut our ties. And I think uh, we got to do that in Indian country as well. Navajo Nation President Jonathan Nez, thank you for joining us on New Mexico PBS. Thank you for having us, Antonia.